Yeah, show us your toes. Oh, <laughs> hey. What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's finally here. The big one. This is the Kobe 6 Mambasita. These initially released through Nike's exclusive access system, so the chances were slim. I do hope in the future they start to produce more stock, since Nike just recently renewed their contract with the Kobe brand. Because the prices are getting kinda crazy, and your boy's just trying to hoop in some Kobe's, man. Or woman! You guys asked for it. Wait. You asked for it. And well, <laughs> here we are. Today we're gonna be making a legit checking QC guide for the Kobe 6 Mamba Sita colorway. Hey, calm down. Calm down. This is the WKB or World Killer Batch. Same as the Grinches I got a while back. So we already know the tech in these is gonna be solid, but what about the accuracy? All right, let's get into the legit checking guide. The box got the old beat down in transit. Big dent here and there. Doesn't matter though. We're gonna be hooping in these. We don't care about the box. Oh yeah, apparently there's a kick hoop batch of these coming out in the future that from the looks of it is damn near one to one. So when those come out, I'm definitely going to be making another guide for those. But for now, let's get into these. Aw, oh, what the hell? As you already know, this colorway is a tribute to Kobe and Gigi. It's done super tastefully, super clean, black and white. What should we start off with here? The first thing you want to look at is just the overall shape of the shoe. The overall shape of these is looking nice. It is a little bit wide up at the toe box there. It's kind of hard to tell if you don't have both to compare side by side. Just know that the WKB does have a slightly wider toe box. And for the upper, you just want to check the shine on the scales and the scale pattern itself. It has a really nice glossy finish and the pattern is perfect. Up next, we have the check. One more thing on the side here. This is probably the easiest indicator between a rep and a retail, the white Nike swoosh. On the retail pairs, it has a little bit of feathering around the edges. Kind of looks like it was spray painted on there, but on the reps, it's a super clean, hard line. Yeah, so watch out for the swoosh. That's the first pretty big difference between the rep and the retail. Next up, we have the laces and the tongue. For the laces, these come with both the black and the white laces. Each of the different colors has that alternating black and white on the aglets just like on the retails. One thing to note here is the color of that honeycomb netting beneath the laces. On the retails, it's a much darker black. It's almost, it really blends in with the sneaker. And on the reps, it almost has a reflective surface. It kind of looks a little bit white in the, in certain lighting. And moving, moving to the sock liner. You just want to check the pattern and the randomness of the dots. The reps and the retails are pretty similar. On the cheaper batches, the dots will be a lot bigger and the pattern will be a little bit more uniform. Quick look at the insole here. Oh, that is so clean. We got the hits of Mambasita on the insole there. On the retails, it's a lot bigger. It pretty much spans the width of the shoe. You won't notice this though. It's on the insole, so. But a good, a legit checking indicator there. Uh, next up, moving towards the back of the shoe, down here, Gigi's number, the two. On the retail pair, it's a much more pronounced and uh, just an overall larger two. This is a pretty easy one to tell. On the reps, the two looks like it's floating, has a lot of space underneath, and just the two itself is a lot smaller and it doesn't have that same thickness as the retails. And at the very back, we have the heel cup, Kobe and Gigi with the Mambasita Academy logo there. So sick. Probably the dopest part about the shoes. The back looks pretty good. The only thing that I can really notice is the, the font color of Kobe and Gigi needs some more sparkle. It's a little bit darker on the reps. One more thing to look at at the back here is the heel tab or the inner sock liner up at that Achilles spot. On the WKB batch, the shape is a little inconsistent and you can see some of the stitching peeking out the sides. On the retail pairs, the padding at the Achilles is a lot thicker, kind of like your mom. It also hides the stitching beneath the sock liner. Another thing to watch out for. Hee <laughs> For the cushion and the traction, on the bottom we have that really nice organic honeycomb like traction. This time it's a pure white outsole. It doesn't feel as tacky as the translucent, but we shall see how they perform. I will be doing a separate performance review on these bad boys, so make sure you watch out for that one. Most of the time, the solid color rubber tractions perform a lot better than the translucents, so 
And for the cushion, since this is the WKB batch, it has that large zoom turbo unit up in the forefoot, and they even added a separate zoom unit in the heel. So these have even more cushion than the Protros. That's pretty much it as far as the differences between the reps and the retails. As far as the fit goes on these, it's a real snug fit. I mean, the Grinches were snug at first too though, so maybe I just gotta break them in a bit. If you want a little bit of breathing room, I would definitely go half size up. For the performance side of things, I'll get back to you on that when we do the full performance breakdown. That is my legit checking guide for the Kobe 6 Mamba Sita. What do you guys think? Some pretty big and noticeable flaws on the shoe. If you found the video helpful or you did enjoy the content, drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey. <laughs> That's hot. Hey, yo, what's up, fam squad? Nation? <laughs>